Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam with this week's Oracle for everybody. Uh, happy full moon in Aquarius. And um, earlier today on Instagram, I set up a post with a picture and there were three animals pictured on the post. And I asked you which animal and set of cards underneath that animal resonated most with you. The animals we had to choose from were the raven, the lion, or the dragon. So for those of you who picked the raven, uh, the first card is where it's best to place your focus at this time. And we have the page of wands. And the page of wands is the aspirational figure of the tarot. He's the one who's holding that wand that's taller than him, and he's looking up at the top of it. It's as if he hasn't quite grown into that space yet, into that role. Whenever we see the page of wands, he says that your focus needs to be placed on something that you're trying to grow into or grow. And so this could be a business idea, or it could just be a talent that you're fostering. Uh, but this is a time of uh, learning period. So it's not gonna be something that you feel 100% competent in as you go forward. And because the Page of Wands is looking up, sometimes he advises you to conjure up images of whoever your role models are, or your heroes, or people that you look to uh, for inspiration in order to meet the task at hand. So it's better to embody the best qualities of the people that you're looking up to to meet whatever challenge you are facing at this time. The second card is advice from your inner wisdom, and that's the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is uh, the figure of the tarot who's a little frustrated. He's the only knight in the tarot who's on a horse that is not moving forward. So there's a sense of being at a standstill or things being frozen for a time. Although this can be frustrating, and especially when we couple him with the Page of Wands who still is growing into his role or growing into what he wants to make happen, uh, this can indicate that there's something that the brakes are put on at the moment and you need to be patient. The Knight of Pentacles has planted the field behind him and it's still going to grow. However, at this time, there's something very important that needs to be dealt with in the present without moving forward, without proceeding before it is time to actually go forward. So now is the time to pay attention to the details and also just hammer things out in general. And then the mythic archetype for you to embody that can help you at this time is Nemosyne, and she's the goddess of inspiration, the mother of the muses. And so this could just indicate that it's time to find what it is that is inspiring about the work that you do, or even that is hopeful. And since Nemosyne is the goddess of memory, uh, she's telling you to go back and maybe review things from before. That's our air show going on for full moon in Aquarius. I guess we're showing off our technological prowess today. Uh, but Nemosyne is basically about going back to the past for your answers and really kind of embodying uh, quality or something that you've really developed in yourself before in order to meet these challenges uh, as you're going forward. Um, so that is for the people who pick Raven. The next cards are for the ones who pick Lion. And the first card for Lion is where it's best to place your focus. And wow, look at that. We got the Lion, the Strength card. And strength is all about reining in things that feel out of control in your life or like the energy is just kind of like wacky or it's uh, overpowering you in some way and applying self-control at this time. The woman on the strength card is a representation for your higher self and she's gently taming the lion. She's gently closing the jaws of the lion so that it doesn't consume her. And the lion is representation for those things in your life that are just out of control or unruly or really powerful and where it can sometimes feel intimidating. What the woman on the card is doing is reining that lion energy in. And so this is a time to make gentle self-corrections. It isn't a time to beat yourself up. Instead, it's a time to really uh, apply your uh, gentle self-corrections and to make uh, different adjustments to your life right now where you're seeing things getting out of control or needing some support. Um, you also got for the thing that is the advice from your inner wisdom is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is a card uh, that represents hard work and it also just represents that you're going to be feeling that this is going to be a time to really put your energy in your job, in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or cultivate. When we see the Strength card next to the Eight of Pentacles, the advice from your inner wisdom is that you can totally take control of your situation, and especially anything that has to do with finances, money, where you're working, what you're doing. These things could really use your energy right now. 
It might also just be a time where you're really reining things in or taming things that feel out of control in your workspace or even just taking control of your business. And then your final card is the mythic archetype for you to embody and you got Eros. And Eros is the god of passion and love. And whenever he comes up, he's basically saying that there is a really great desire to express passion in your life again. This could either be romantically, it could be a time to work on your intimacy, or it could even just be a time with these other cards that came up to really embrace your passion for the work you're doing. This is also just a time to really check in with your body and ask it what it needs at this time. And whenever we see Eros, he's telling you to really just let go and let yourself flow with where your passions are taking you at this time. So that's for the people who picked the lion card, or I'm sorry, the lion archetype. And then finally, we have the people who picked the dragon. And the first card is where it's best to place your focus for the dragon people. And that is the temperance card. And the angel of temperance is in the act of rebalancing himself. You can see he's pouring a full cup of water into an empty cup of water. And so this could indicate taking energy that's been really kind of like invested in one area of your life or that's been really lopsided and now rebalancing that, investing some of that energy in something that's been neglected up until this point. The angel of temperance has one foot in the water and one foot on the dry land. So this could indicate that this is a time for you to balance not only your spiritual needs and uh, emotional needs, but also there's a, a need to really have one foot firmly in the practical world too. And so it's kind of like you're it's, uh, you know, astride these two different worlds and you're trying to combine them both uh, for your challenges right now. Uh, but this is saying that balance is gonna be your best way forward. And then finally, the uh, Angel of Temperance is just surrounded by water symbolism. So this could indicate that water, water is gonna have a very healing effect on you, to spend time by water, or even to just drink more water. Um, but it's definitely time to put your focus on rebalancing yourself. Um, the advice from your inner wisdom is the lovers reversed. And sometimes the lovers comes up reversed when we're dealing with a situation that needs negotiating or needs to be worked out between two individuals and now a compromise needs to be struck. Uh, whenever the lovers comes up reverse too, it can indicate that there's an imbalance going on or created by another person. And when we see lovers reverse next to temperance, it's really saying that it's up to you right now to rebalance anything uh, that feels out of whack in yourself as a result of your interactions with other people. Sometimes the lovers card comes up reverse too when you're forgetting to let your higher self take control or take the lead, especially in your negotiations with other people. And so this could be just a really important time to get clarification and to rebalance your relationships at this time. And sometimes the lovers reverse can just indicate that there is a conflict that's going on that does need some resolution with somebody else. So this could be a time to be just very careful and gentle, much like that angel of temperance, and just really speak your uh, point of view from a place of love in order to bring harmony again. Uh, but Lovers Reversed is always about trying to reharmonize again, and it has so much in common with that Temperance card. And then the mythic archetype that's going to help you out going forward is Demeter, and she's the goddess of the harvest. And Demeter is the goddess of growing things, so there's some times of your life where it's going to feel like things are flourishing and everything's beautiful and everything's just, um, you know, plentiful and abundant. And then there's going to be times like winter where it feels like just nothing's growing, it's very frustrating. Whenever Demeter comes up, she's basically reassuring you that your time of harvest or abundance is on its way, it's coming. And it could be a time that is uh, appearing for you after this period of rebalancing or tweaking these different areas of your life. Always with Demeter, she is the goddess who bestows rewards and healing and health and abundance. So this could just be a really good time to nurture yourself. So that is this week's Oracle. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, I invite you to go to ElliotOracle.com and schedule a personal tarot session with me. These little mini readings are really fun and interesting, but they're nothing compared to a one-on-one -on -one tarot session that really goes into all of your specific concerns and needs. So I do invite you to check that out. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and enjoy this full moon. Take care.